In the underworld of organised crime, the Undrangheta stands as a powerful force notorious for its involvement in drug trafficking, extortion and intricate web of corruption. Originating from the Calabri region of Italy, the Undrangheta is based around family clans whose influence is far-reaching, extending well beyond the realm of traditional criminal activities. With an estimated annual revenue in the tens of billions of euros, the organisation's power lies not only in its criminal endeavours, but also in its web of money laundering and corruption. Money laundering is the lifeblood of organised crime, and the Undrangheta has mastered this dark art. Their methods are multifaceted. From establishing front companies, to investing in real estate and exploiting shell corporations, these tactics enable them to funnel their ill-gotten gains into the legitimate economy, making dirty money appear clean. But what sets the Undrangheta apart is the ability to corrupt the very heart of the financial system, local banks. By placing their members or sympathisers in strategic positions, they gain control and influence over decision-making processes, manipulating transactions, approving loans for their criminal associates, and creating a maze of legitimate and illicit funds. Just quickly, if you're enjoying this video so far and finding this content interesting, please consider subscribing and liking this video, it really does help me out. Corruption runs deep within the Undrangheta's veins. They exploit community loyalties, exert control over businesses through extortion, and maintain influence within political circles. This intricate web allows them to shape local economies, control key decisions, and wield power over institutions. The Undrangheta's corruption knows no borders. With a global network, they've managed to extend their influence beyond Italy's borders. The organization's tentacles stretch across countries, engaging in international money laundering and solidifying their role as a global criminal powerhouse. However, with this said, the Undrangheta have been the target in police raids across Europe. In May 2023, law enforcement authorities across 10 countries raided multiple locations and 132 members of the Undrangheta were taken into custody. Millions of euros were seized, as well as thousands of tons of narcotics, mostly cocaine but also heroin and hashish. In Germany, investigators uncovered a widespread network of restaurants, pizzerias, cafes and ice cream parlours used as fronts to launder money. The Undrangheta, which has its roots in Calabria, has surpassed the Cosa Nostra as the most powerful mafia group in the country and operates in more than 40 countries around the world. The Italian criminal network was mainly devoted to international drug trafficking from South America to Europe as well as Australia. Authorities uncovered that the network was working in partnership with the Colombian organised crime group Gulf Clan and a crime group operating in Ecuador and multiple European countries. Furthermore, the Undrangheta clans were involved in international firearms trafficking from Pakistan to South America, providing weapons to the notorious criminal group Primero Commando de Capital in exchange for cocaine shipments. Investigators tracked the flow of money in an extensive global money laundering system with massive investments in Belgium, Germany, Italy, Portugal, Argentina, Uruguay and Brazil. The criminal group was investing its profits in real estate, restaurants, hotels, car wash companies, supermarkets and other commercial activities. In order to pay for cocaine or to transfer illicit assets, the criminals often relied on facilitators using the Hawala system. Italian and Belgian investigators believed that the criminal group smuggled close to 25,000 kilos of cocaine between October 2019 and January 2022 and funneled more than 22 million euros from Calabria to Belgium, the Netherlands and South America. In April 2023, Undrangheta boss Pascal Bonavota was arrested at a cathedral in the northern city of Genoa after being on the run since 2018. He went on the run shortly after being sentenced to life in prison for two murders committed in 2014 and 2004 of a lower ranking member of his clan and a rival boss of a nearby clan. That sentence was overturned in 2021 by a court of appeal while he was on the run. Pascal Bonavota is now a defendant in an ongoing maxi trial in which more than 300 people face charges related to organised crime. In the last few years, there's been a huge police effort to fight the Undrangheta, so these arrests will be seen as a big victory for anti-mafia prosecution in Italy and across Europe. As always, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this case below in the comments. Till next time, take care.